Hi guys, um, it's Kate, uh, and I am going to do a little video for you guys of, um, it's going to be some drawing with watercolor, which is what I do primarily, and I, I kind of wanted to start off by talking about what I do um, in my own artistic practice, just because I don't feel like I've talked about that a lot. Um, so I have some of my work from the past couple of years here to show you. Um, I do a lot of like skeletons and floral work, um, hearts and anatomy as well. Um, but mostly what I do is, um, all of these drawings that I do are based off of things that I write in uh, my journal, in my journaling practice. Um, and so these are, these are really like self-reflections of my feelings, the things that I'm thinking about day to day. Um, it's kind of my way to get things out. Um, everybody kind of needs an outlet, right? And I know like a lot of people, it's music and writing or uh, whatever, and um, art is really mine, and I know that I start from a writing standpoint and then I move to a more visual standpoint. Um, but that's kind of like the basis of my artistic practice. But I do, because I'm doing a lot of self-reflection and working a lot with self-portraiture, um, so a lot, a lot of drawings of myself. Um, I have this one here as well. Um, and these are all watercolor. Occasionally I'll do oil paint as well. I can do acrylic too. Um, but for the past few years, my main medium has been drawing and watercolor. These are kind of like a two-part piece, which I work a lot in series as well. So I'll do, you know, two pieces like this that are supposed to be viewed side by side. Um, sometimes series of three or four as well. A lot of my skeleton pieces. This is a more recent drawing that I've done. I've been drawing peonies a lot lately. Um, I love to draw bees too, occasionally birds as well. Um, so yeah, this is some examples of my work. I'm sitting in my living room um, in front of my coffee table on the floor, which is where I usually work. I have like a little desk area and an easel um, just that way in my house, but this is kind of where I prefer to work when I was living in a much smaller space. Um, this was kind of the only space I had to work, so I just got very used to sitting on the floor, drawing on the coffee table. Um, my dog Duke is usually hanging out too while I'm working. So I wanted to shoot the video here because this is kind of like, my normal working spot. Um, um, so my supplies, I'm going to be using watercolor paper because I'm eventually going to fill in what I draw in this video with watercolor, which will be a part of the video as well. Um, always start with pencil. I always do at least because, you know, we're all human. I make mistakes all the time, so it's nice to start with the pencil so you can erase. I have an eraser on here. I know 
a lot of artists have really strong feelings about mechanical pencils. Um, it's just what I have at home. I draw with them all the time, so this is what I'm going to draw with, but um, a regular wooden pencil is great as well. Those you can get varying um, lead, like um, denseness and leads, which um, if you're doing like a complete graphite drawing, those are really great, but for me, I'm just doing my sketch with pencil and then I will eventually outline with black pen before I fill in with watercolor. Um, this pencil has an eraser on it, but I prefer to have a nice big eraser, especially since, like I just said, I will sketch with a pencil and then I'll go over it with the black pen and then I'll erase all of the pencil marks behind the black pen. So it's nice to have a nice big eraser. Um, and then I have my laptop here because, um, I think it's really important, especially when you're learning to draw, you should always be looking at something. Um, people who can draw from memory are absolutely amazing. I cannot. So I am obviously being an artist, I'm mean, a very, very visual learner. Um, so I've got to be looking at something. So I've done some research before on kind of what I want to draw. I've picked some images. I usually pull a couple images um, that are going to kind of fit what I want to draw to look at. And then I kind of like collage them onto my page. Um, so taking images from different sources and kind of blending them together in my head for one piece. Um, so yeah, I think I am going to start making, um, yeah. Okay, so I finished the drawing portion, um, and now I will be filling it in with watercolor. Um, so these are the watercolor palettes that I use pretty well worn, but they're just like super simple palettes from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever. Um, and then I have water here um, for painting with. And then I have this ceramic palette where I can like mix my own colors. You don't need one. Um, I Before I had this nice palette, I used to just mix on a regular plate and watercolor is super easy it just rinses off with water so you can use a plate in your kitchen just make sure you wash it afterwards um okay so i think the most useful piece of information about watercolor is um like obviously you're using water um to kind of you know get your paint ready um and the more water you use, the less saturated the color will be. The less water you use, the more saturated the color will be. Um, and watercolor can be really fun to play around with. It's, it's kind of fun to play around with colors bleeding into each other, um, how you can use water um, to get some really cool effects. So I will start painting.
So here is the finished product. My skeleton coming out of the ground. Um, I like to, or I've been noticing recently that I've been using a lot of themes of rebirth. Um, I don't know if you can see that in this piece or not, but that is kind of where I'm coming from. Um, and again, I draw from things that I'm writing about in my journal. And I think journaling is such, um, a good practice to have, um, in times like these, especially that are kind of strange and distant, um, but it's just a nice way to kind of get things off your chest um, and kind of process through things, um, not just in your head, but on paper as well. Um, and same thing with art, like processing through things on paper. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video um, and the art.